Good day, royal fans. Welcome back to the channel. Today's royal headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry taking baby Archie to the UK despite coronavirus travel warnings. In some ways, the coronavirus has been a great equaliser, as celebrities and politicians have been forced to take the same precautions and suffer the same anxieties as the rest of us. In other ways, however, it served to highlight the ways in which crises affect various socio-economic classes in profoundly different ways. Many believe the best example of this can be found in the recent behaviour of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The royal family was hit hard by the pandemic, with 71-year-old Prince Charles contracting COVID-19 and being forced into isolation in Scotland. Despite the virus hitting that close to home, Meghan and Harry proceeded with plans made before the pandemic in a way that many have childish as irresponsible. With numbers skyrocketing in the US and billions sheltering in pl places worldwide, Meghan and Harry moved to Los Angeles from their previous home in Vancouver. And with all hands on deck in terms of global relief efforts, the Sussexes announced plans to rename their charity but added the organization will not launch until after the pandemic subsides. The couple is still internationally beloved, but they're undeniably in the midst of a rough patch in terms of negative press. And there was a time when it looked as though they were soon to make the situation worse, with even more unnecessary travel. Insiders reported that the Sussex were planning to return to the UK to celebrate Archie's first birthday on May 6th. Fortunately, it appears that they've abandoned those plans. Plans have changed, a source confirmed to E. I think the hope in royal circles had been that the Sussexes would return to the UK in May, either before or after their attendance at the Invictus Games in the Netherlands next month. And they were also due to attend the Queen's birthday parade, Troopin' the Colour, on June 13th, the insider explains. But with both those events now cancelled and Harry and Meghan holding California, where they are likely to be social distancing for the next couple of weeks, Archie is set to celebrate his first birthday with only his parents. Amid all of those events, the parents hope to arrange a Buckingham Palace photo shoot as a means of sending the message that all is well within the royal family. Those plans have been scrapped, not only due to health concerns, but also due to fears of how such a trip would be depicted in the press. It may have taken Harry and Meghan some time to fully appreciate the severity of the situation, but at least they got there eventually. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all we have time for for today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time and goodbye for now.